Okay, welcome to our channel on the Bison Tech. We build this channel with the purpose of showing you guys how to how this workstation works. All the workstation lineup that we have for 3D modeling design, video editing, uh, rendering, and also for deep learning. So you can check in all these videos and compare one system to another so you can uh, figure out which one will be fit better for you and your workload. So today's video is about 3D rendering and uh, choose what GPU is the best for 3D rendering in 2018. Uh, how is the performance on the V5000 with three different GPUs? We're gonna test the 2080 Ti, the 2080 and the 1080 Ti. These two, the 2080 Ti and the 1080 Ti, the performance, uh, they both have 11 GB and this was an 8 GB and we're gonna see how the performance increase between one and the, and the other. All the benchmark will be at the end of the description and also all the specs uh, inside of the V5000 that we're using for testing uh, on the Octane Render Benchmark uh, 4.0, which is the latest version that support the new RTX video card. Okay, so for this benchmark, we're gonna be using the V5000. Uh, this is a computer, this is a series that we have for video editing, but also for 3D rendering. And this is a full case, it's aluminum case uh, with the side panel, so you can see everything inside. All the bay port for to connect uh, different multi, multiple uh, hard drives, so you can set up a RAID uh, real, really easy. Uh, we have water cooling system for the CPU. We got the RTX 2080 Ti on the top the 2080 on the bottom because we're gonna be comparing them inside and then we're gonna unplug this and connect the 1080 Ti and see the performance. All the management cable, we get 850 power supply, PQ EVGA Supernova, which is uh, perfect for this setup here. We got the Core i9-7900X, uh, 20 core CPU, and we have 64, I mean, we have 32 gigs of RAM. This board support up to 128, but for this test, I think we don't need uh, more at the moment. Okay, so let's get into the benchmark. Okay, so as we can see, the 2080 Ti performs much better than the 2080 and the 1080 Ti, but also with the 50% increase in price compared with the 1080 Ti, which is the price is around $700, and the 2080 Ti is about $1,200. So something to consider here, because of the price range is twice the difference. Um, we see that the 2080 compared with the 1080 Ti is uh, that performs uh, almost the same. The price range is almost the same as the 1080 Ti, but you have to keep in mind this is the latest video card. You get the USB-C type on the back of the video card. You get the RT cores that you can use for ray tracing some games. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Also leave in the comment below if you want to see more videos like for video editing, 3D modeling design, uh, gaming and also for deep learning that we have the different workstations that you can check it out on the website so it's right here www.bison-tech.com follow us in the social media you can go to instagram and see all the builds that we have 
we post in a different build that we do for the customers every day so you can check them out and thanks for watching and i see you on the next video thank you